Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make crock pot candy. If you are a person that doesn't want to deal with making candy at the holidays and taking a temperature and figuring out if you have a soft ball of sugar and all that, but you wanna make some homemade treats to give as gifts or for parties, this is the perfect recipe for you. I thought I would start a series where we go through this old box. We're not gonna do all of them, but I'm gonna go through this old box of my recipes that I've been saving for 30 years and make some of the recipes that I have made for years. I was digging through this the other day and I found some old recipes. I thought, man, I haven't made this in years. And I thought it would be fun to kind of go through here and see. And this is before you had social media and shared it on social media. I'll tell you where I got this recipe. This recipe came from my bank, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, when I would work at the office, I would go walk down to the bank to make our deposits every day. And at the holidays, they would have these little cards by the tellers um, with recipes on them and it'd be a different one every week. Well, I saw this one. I thought, boy, that, that sounds easy. Sounds like something I could do. And I picked it up and I made it. Haven't looked back. So this is kind of worn out and stained up, but it is the easiest candy recipe you will make. So I'm going to show you how we do it. <laughs> okay, guys, I have my helper in here today. Aaron's going to help us make this candy because it is so easy uh even people who don't do a whole lot of cooking can do this so um this recipe the way you're going to do it you're going to dump in each ingredient in the order that i tell you to or per the recipe and you are not going to mix it at all you just put it in each layer and that's it so we're going to start out with a 16 ounce container of unsalted dry roasted peanuts and we're just going to pour this you okay we're going to pour this all in the bottom of the pan all right good job all right now i'm going to kind of just spread that out a little bit now you're going to take a 16 ounce container uh -huh. of dry roasted peanuts salted the salted ones we got in these a little bit, um, so a little bit's missing, but it'll be okay. I didn't want to buy a whole nother jar of peanuts. All right, here we go. I know. You doing good? I know. All right, let me see how many ounces is this. 12 ounces. All right, the next thing you're going to need is a 12-ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Good job, Aaron. All right, so just I do just kind of spread out the layers evenly. Does it smell good? Okay, the next thing you're going to need, let me show you the box. The next thing you're going to need is a four-ounce box of German chocolate. Can y'all see that? German chocolate. And you're just going to break it up into pieces like this. All right, Aaron, take those and put them on there. No, you don't have to break them. Just lay them in there. Spread them out. Spread them out. Yeah, there you go. You put some over here. Good. Let put some over there too. Good job. And the last ingredient is two bags. This is 24 ounces. Two 24 ounce bags of almond bark. Um, I think it's equivalent to, <coughs> you okay? <laughs> I think it's equivalent to three pounds. So, and then you're just going to break those up. You know, they, they kind of got, you know, indentions in them where you can easily cut it up, Whoa! cut it up into chunks. So now we're just going to put these on top. All right. Now we just put the lid on it. That's it, y'all. That's it. 
So we're gonna plug this up and put it on low for three hours. That's it, low for three hours. Now, if your crock pot is really, really hot and you smell it burning, you may wanna turn it off because I've had that happen before in old crock pots. But you know your crock pot, so if it runs really hot, you may turn it off sooner. If it runs really colder and you have to cook things longer usually, then you might do it just a little bit longer. But three hours, it's still gonna look like this. It's not gonna look melted. It's still gonna look like this, but it will be melted. But after three hours, you're just gonna turn it off and let it sit for just a little bit. I'd say maybe 30 minutes is maybe, I don't do any more than that. So 15 to 30 minutes, let it sit, let that heat kind of get in there and, and finish melting everything. And then we'll go in and stir it up and mix it up. But I will check back after this has been on for three hours. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. It's been just a little over three hours. Um, so I've taken my crock pot, my insert out of the crock pot part. And um, I've been letting it cool for just a few minutes. I probably need to let it cool longer, but I'm ready to see kind of what's going on. And I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. I'm hoping mine doesn't taste burn or anything because I'm gonna show you, I've had it do it worse, but this one did, I don't know if you can see how brown around the edges of that white it got. So, um, I don't think it's burnt, but a little bit longer than it would have. I, I come in here to check on it a little before three hours and I went ahead and cut it off. Aaron's gonna mix it up for us. All right, Ooh, that's hot. Look, stir it all around. <laughs> I know, look, stir it. Oh, yum. It got burnt a little bit. All right. It's not your fault, baby. All right, mine did. This is why you have to know your crock pot. Mine did get burnt just a little bit down in there. So I'm going to just kind of scrape out that little bit that got burnt. Okay guys, we got it all mixed up. And see, that's what it kind of looks like. It's hard to see my lighting, but it's milk chocolatey looking. <laughs> and so now we're fixing to go mm. drop them in little balls. Okay guys, we're fixing to now drop our candy onto some wax paper. So you can totally do this on your kitchen counter, but I have zero kitchen counter space. Uh, since we moved, my kitchen is like T90. Um, so I have moved to my dining room and what I did was I have put down an, an old tablecloth so the warmth of the candy doesn't mess up my table. So I put down an old tablecloth. If you can see, I've got just sheets of wax paper there um, on the table. And so I'm just gonna take a spoon and just drop them down. Uh, and you just make as many as you can make. It usually makes a lot, maybe over a hundred, you know, just depends on how big you make them. Erin, do you wanna help? Uh. All right. All right, so we're just gonna take a spoon. And you just drop it down and you make like a little peanut cluster. Okay. All right, Aaron, you want to do some? You want to do some? Get you a little spoon. There you go. Drop it down on there. Good. Good job, Aaron. Oh, that's hot. Okay. You can't put that back in the candy. <laughs> 
So, I'm going to sit and do all these on the wax paper and then you let them cool completely. And then once they have cooled completely, I will check back and we'll do the taste test for you guys. <laughs> okay guys, this is how many it made. Okay guys, we're back. We're here to do the taste test. Aaron is excited. Um, I've pulled up some of them. I still have some more to, to pull up, but I wanted to show y'all. I got a big platter full, and this is only probably about half of them. So I still have plenty more to put up, but we're fixing to try these and see how they turned out. <laughs> it did not take them long to get to, to get hard, I think. I think they've been sitting for about an hour and a half. So it didn't take long at all. Dang. All right, Aaron, are you ready? Okay. Let's try one. What do you think, Aaron? I dropped it right in the middle of that. <laughs> They're all mine. Oh, is that good? I <laughs> good It's been a long time since I've had these. Right? I know. That's why I told them it's been a long time since I made them. Oh, there's your piece. Mm. Yeah. Um, can you taste any burnt on it? Mm. I got a little bit burnt around the edge of the crock pot, and I tried to pull some of it out, and I mixed it up, so I'm glad I can't taste it. All right, Aaron, you want another one? No? Daddy, you want another one? I'm waiting one more, a little small one. Okay, guys. This is a hit. It turned out really good. Um, perfect to give as a gift for the holidays or uh, to take to a party, anything like that. So I hope y'all try it out. And thank y'all for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>